Hey everybody, it's Chuck O'Connor, and welcome back for more Super Mario RPG Legends of the Stars! Alright, in the last part, we got to the very end of the factory in this part. We're gonna go ahead and finish the game. Alright, we're gonna fight the final boss, Smithy. Alright, I was thinking of using Bowser in this fight, though, but now nah, I'm just gonna have Gino in my party since, you know, this is his battle. Since we're repairing the Star Road. I was thinking of having Bowser in here, you know, since it's his castle and all, but... Eh, I don't think so. But that's just the kind of guy I am. I don't know, I just like using Toadstool a lot. Hmm? What do we got? You just gotta jump on this crane. It's gonna take us over here. And we're gonna go down the chute. Mario, go down the hole! Hey! That's the last star piece! Huh? Already finished your tour of the factory, huh? Alright then. How about a little demonstration? Yo, Smithy! What, is Gino suddenly no, a rapper? I don't know. Stop making these things and hand over the star piece now! Huh? <laughs> so you're Mario. Looks like we're gonna have a little dispute over the star. Just hand it over and get out of my castle! My, my, we're a little touchy, aren't we? You know, I'm actually growing rather fond of this place. Please don't make us go through anymore! Just give us the star, now! <laughs> Better yet, why don't you give me your stars? Then I could easily conquer this world. Then we can get rid of all wishes and create a world filled with weapons. Don't count on it, bud. Over here now, I'll crush you all. Here we go! This is the final boss of the game! It is Smithy! He doesn't really have that many... He doesn't really have any special strengths or weaknesses. He's just super powerful and has about 2,000 HP. So, yeah. He can use his smelter over there to create new enemies to help him fight. He has that really gigantic hammer sledge attack. It's kind of cool how Mario's first weapon in the game is a hammer and everything, and he also, and Smithy also has a hammer. I don't know, I, I just always thought that was kind of cool, how like, they designed Smithy. And overall, I like Smithy's design a lot. I think he looks really cool. But don't worry, this fight isn't nearly as tough as a lot of people make it out to be. If you just got all the right equipment and all that, he's actually not that bad. And this, in fact, uh... For the first part of this fight, honestly, I really, I just use my regular attacks, and I guess I'll Pichu's her rock candies to defeat the extra enemies that he spawns by doing this. You can go defeat the smelter if you want, but really, I don't find it that, oh god, sword rain. Chocolate rain! Could you imagine making it rain swords? Jeez. Uh, you can go ahead and defeat the smelter if you want, but seriously, I don't really find it to be that needed. Seriously, I, I really don't. Uh, Lazy Shell again, and I guess Peach, you can use your Star Egg, or use a Rock Candy. Seriously, we're on the last battle here, it doesn't matter, we just want to use up all the items we can. So I'm just going to go nuts collect getting everything I collected. In fact, I'll even use the Yoshi Cookie in this fight. Oh, we got a freebie, nice, we can use it again, that's awesome. Peach, you rock. Uh, I guess on Mario's turn I'll go ahead and, uh, nah, actually I'll wait. Whatever. Come on. Die! Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! No! He's getting pretty angry. Calm down, Smithy! Your head looks like a geyser! Don't get so worked up! Think of your blood pressure! We just built this yesterday! And the foundation's very weak. So stop shaking the floor! How utterly annoying! Huh? What the hell in the heck? And he's crumbled the foundation. Looks like we're going down underground. Whoa! No! Ugh. I'm burning, seething. Never have I been so wronged. It is time. 
I will show you my real form. I will show you my true power. I will teach you respect. And I shall have my revenge. No! That is Smithy's true form. Okay. Ooh, come on, you puny ants. Okay, he is actually quite tough. His body has a thousand HP. If you disable his body, he's basically going to not get to attack for a few turns, but his body can replenish. His head has 8,000 HP, and that's the thing you're going to want to take out. So, yeah, I guess... guess that's really all i got to say about him. He's... He has different forms, though, okay? So he can transform. I'm just going to warn you about that right now. He is a little bit tough, but whatever. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and try using the Geno Flash. Seriously, we have like four Royal Syrups. It doesn't matter how many special we use in this fight. Come on. Not bad. And he's reshaping his head. Now he has a tank head. The tank head has extremely devastating physical attacks. It might be a good idea to raise your defenses with Geno Boost when he does that. You don't have to, but it's kind of recommended. In fact, like I said, I was going to use that Yoshi cookie on the second form of this fight, and so I shall. Let's see what it does. Okay, that was weird. Uh, what do we want to use? Funny if the lamb's lure worked on him, but I know it's not going to, so just use the star egg. Okay, not bad. Sorry about that, I hit my controller up against my microphone by accident. <laughs> Magnum. Whoa! Hat, you missed! Smithy, you suck. Hat, you can't even hit me. You can't hit a fat Italian plumber. Who's so slow he doesn't have blast processing. I was getting a little bit of slowdown right there. I, I, I don't know if that's the... I don't know. I don't know if it's a virtual console of the game or if it's just a byproduct of the original. Honestly, I have no idea, but I was getting a little bit of slowdown right there. I don't know if it's going to show up in the video, though, but whatever. But god, though, I love this final battle so much. It is such a cool final boss. Like, seriously, uh... And, to be honest, I actually... I didn't think... I actually never really fought the final boss until, like, the virtual console release of the game, though, because any previous times I did playthroughs of the game, I never quite got to the end. Um... Well, Mario's pretty... Well, Gino's down for the count right now, so let's go ahead and heal him up. We got plenty of stuff, though, so it's not like it really... Oh, we have another rock candy we can use. I think I'll go ahead and use that. If we can immobilize his body just, like, for a little while, I think maybe that'll make the fight easier. And I, would, I hope he'll transform and show some of his other heads. I hope he doesn't just use the tank head, because if he does, that's going to be kind of lame, because he has three other forms that he can use. There we go, he's transforming. Next he has the magic head. By the way, the magic head is a female. You can tell by the position of the... Never mind. Uh, <laughs> this has some of the most devastating magic attacks in the game. It's actually... It's a little tough, though, but honestly, I find the tank head a little bit more devastating. Uh, go ahead and use a rock candy. I think that'll immobilize his body for a while. Or not. Sword Rain! It's just like in a Tales of Symphonia, Sword Rain. <laughs> oh god, come on. Look kill Mario. Uh, Gino, I guess use Gino Flash again. But yeah, Smithy, he doesn't really have any true weaknesses or resistances. It's basically just chip away at him. Just one of those bosses. Grr, can't, can't move! Okay, we immobilized his body, so he's not going to be able to do anything to us for a couple of turns. At least we can bring Mario back in that time without any worries, and we can just have Mario hopefully annihilate him. Boulder. Okay, I guess that didn't last as long as I hoped. And, wow, every single graphical glitch is right there. Come on! Quit killing us! Stop killing us! I'm allowed to kill you, but you're not allowed to kill me. It's only fair. Jeez. Yeah, look at that. There's, like, smithy heads, like, making up the entire battlefield. Jeez. Kind of makes you wonder if he was trying to mass-produce more of himself. That could have been bad. <laughs> Come on. Right, I didn't mean to use a regular attack. Whatever. <laughs> I'm burning with power! Whatever. Come on, die. Sword Rain! Yeah, he thinks he's Lloyd Irving. Come on! 
Oh, he's shapeshifting his head again. What does he got? He shapeshifted it back into the magic head. What was the point of even shapeshifting it at all if he was just going to turn into the magic head again? Um, I guess in case he doesn't uh, transform into his other forms, I think I'll bring up his other ones. Uh, his next, his uh, other forms are his uh, defense head, where he basically, uh, meteor shield. Whoa, that looks cool. I could give somebody a seizure. Um, but seriously, he has the defensive head where basically his head looks like it's in a coffin. Or like an Iron Maiden or something like that. And he has really high defense and it's really difficult to hurt him. And then his other head is the treasure head, where his head looks like a, you know, question mark block in this game, like a treasure chest. Uh, when he does that, and whoa, that's psychedelic. Um, when he does that, it's basically like he can inflict like poison and sleep and things like that on your party. Oh, there he goes. There he's using the treasure head right now. All right, come on, Peach. Peachy Weechy, make with the Healy Wheely. All right, Gino's back up. This is basically the biggest battle for Gino, so I just I wanted to make sure Gino was gonna get to fight in this one. I was thinking of using Bowser though, but eh. I don't know. I just don't like using Bowser in this game. Seriously, he's just. Eh. I like using Mallow a lot though. Even though I always make jokes about how my batty, you know, sucks. All right, come on. Die. What's he doing? Oh, he's silenced. Whoa! That looks like something straight out of Earthbound. That looked like an Earthbound battle background, seriously. I mean, that was crazy. Come on. Mario silenced, but I don't care. He's using the lazy shell. Come on, use the defense. Ah, he's using the tank again. Magnum air rifle! Whatever. Kinda reminds me of the Christmas of that movie, A Christmas Story. God, I love that movie. I can't believe it's almost December already when this goes. And... Eh, it's close. Jeez. Ah, oh, boy. Not bad. Hundred, hundred. Well, then again, I already knew it was gonna do a hundred from the point I used it because it's a fixed damage item. Come on, Gino Flash. Go. I really gotta quit trying to do sound effects with my mouth. Because I fail at it. <laughs> Alright, two damage, not bad. Come on, die! He should be pretty close to dying, actually. I, I really don't think he has much fight left in him. His head has a total of 8,000 HP, though, so that's kind of a lot. It's not as much as Culex, though. Culex had about 12,000 HP altogether between his crystals and him. In fact, I think Culex is exact. God, if I really get this right, I am such a nerd if I actually know this off memory, but if I'm not mistaken, Culex's max HP himself is 8,192, and then his total HP is 12,192 between his, him and his crystals. And God, if I got that right, I am such a freaking nerd. We're gonna use a Kira Kira Cola just because we need to replenish our FP and all of our HP together. And of course, even though it's not gonna make Mario not silence anymore. Oh, got a freebie! Jeez. Man, this is turning out to be a really easy fight. I'm getting freebies like out the wazoo. Oh, I thought I killed him there for a second. I was like, already? Oh, Jeez. And he's going back to the magic. Oh, wait. He did hear Mario's uh, silence. Oh, it, I guess maybe it just ran out like after that turn. Uh Oh, Yoshi Candy. Let's try using that, see what that does. Oh, it's... Yeah. Ah, what the heck, I'll use it just to see what it does. Because honestly, I don't know. Oh, he has 100 HP, okay. Could have figured as much. Spear Rain, okay. He's the devil! Whatever. God, I swear to God, if this was a newly released game and everything, I swear to God, there'd be some parents like going, Oh my God, maybe he's representing the devil, because you're like fighting him in like a hellish looking place, and he's using, like, you know, s devil spears to hurt you. Even though he actually seems like a toy with how he has like those, like, you know, guns in his fingers. He seems like a toy, actually, yeah, he, he really does look a lot like a action figure or something. Pick me up. Come on, Gino. 
If Gino actually beats him, that actually would be pretty fitting if Gino just blasted him with his powerful attack in one. Spear Rain. At least he's not trying to impersonate Lloyd Irving anymore. You're not kick ass enough to be Lloyd Irving. Actually, no, what am I talking about? Lloyd? Nah, I like Lloyd Irving. What am I talking about? Come on. Grr, can't move. So we mobilize his body. Would you quit using the freaking tank? I wish he'd use the defensive head that way. Body and head are burning. It's not possible. I don't believe it. I'm finished. Done for. No. He exploded. There's the last star piece. We found all seven. Please don't let the Axum Rangers come up and take this one from us. Come on, Mario. Send the last one up way up high. Here we go. Come on, Mario. Let's do it. Star Road has been repaired. Wishes can now come true again. <laughs> ah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. All the star pieces are intact. Wishes can now come true again. That is until Paper Mario 2 and Bowser steals the star rod. And Paper Mario and Bowser steals the star rod. Thank you, everyone. The star road is back to normal, and... Whoa. Gino, you were even cooler than ever. I love this game so much. It's already come to an end, guys. I guess Gino's work here is done. God, it looks so cool. Well, I guess because Gino's work here is done, he doesn't need the body of the doll anymore. Hmm. There's Gino's true form. He's a little star. Ah, Gino. Gino, come on. I really would like you to come back for another game. Even though you're in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga as an NPC, that doesn't count. Oh, damn. Mode 7. Well, not really Mode 7, but whatever. Ah, this game looks so good for Super Nintendo. You know your game looks good whenever people have actually commented in my videos saying that they thought it was for N64. And there's Xer. And Xer is just returning to dust. He's gone. 